After the Second World War, the Swiss felt good about their neutrality, which they thought had saved the country from destruction. They believed their defences had deterred the Nazis from invading. But in the 1990s, uncomfortable revelations surfaced about Swiss banks handling assets looted by the Nazis, and banks refusing to release details of dormant accounts held by Holocaust victims. This prompted the government to set up a commission of experts to investigate Switzerland's wartime past. It was led by historian Jean-François Bergier. It was quite painful. We had this idealised image of the role of Switzerland during the Second World War, which only really told one side of the story. Due to the Bergier report, new information came to light. And with the Bergier report, there were Berchier's commission found that government and industry had in some cases cooperated with the Nazis and that Switzerland had turned away thousands of Jewish refugees at its borders. But in the reports on Switzerland's financial activities, what emerges most clearly is a picture of a country confused and under pressure. Markus Somm, historian and editor-in-chief of the Basler Zeitung newspaper, maintains that the Berchier report is one-sided. The Bergier Commission only dealt with the darker side, not with the positive aspects. Some of the negative aspects were already common knowledge. The refugee policy was clearly wrong. The National Bank's policy was also incorrect. We knew this, but the banks in general did not mess up, nor did the economy as a whole. The Commission did not make this clear. Jakob Tanner, co-author of the Berchier report, disagrees. He says it did uncover wrongdoings. The Berchier report showed that in important areas such as gold transactions, the refugee policy, dormant assets, those in charge did not do all they could to intervene. They simply buckled under pressure from outside. It became clear that neutrality was never entirely respected by the warring parties or by the Swiss themselves. But without it, Switzerland may have been drawn into the war and occupied by the Germans.